What now, sir? We try to join back up with our people, and the Founder Command is gonna shoot you and ship the rest of us off to die someplace. We turn back for Albuquerque? We're going to Oklahoma. Maybe Stevens and the other survivors from Haven are there. The meat grinder? Know why they call Oklahoma that? I know. But that's where our mission is. We'll finish up here and head to Oklahoma to find our people. Then Command will know what really happened at Haven. I want to thank you for everything you've done for our town. And for me. With Amarillo gone, they will be the main settlement in this area. Good to know someone like you will be running it. I've given orders to make half of our supplies available to you. We've also got several dozen of my people who want to join you and return to military service. Sounds good. Could use all that. Put them through their paces, Mason. Find out who's got specialization skills and form them into specialist squads. The others can go into the reserves. Can also give you this. Ceramic armor kit for a Bradley tank. Put it to good use. Why, hello everybody, my name is ShredsX and welcome back to Terminator Dark Fate Defiance. Do you know what that guy just said to us? Ceramic armor set for a Bradley tank. Now, I'm pretty sure if we read it quickly, combination of the good old cage armor and ceramic plates, the best armor for protection against energy munitions. This is pretty awesome armor to get. What one do we give it to? Do we give it to Mother or do we give it to Mac? I feel like... This is way more powerful than the energy can. I know I'm going to upset people there, so we're actually going to give it to you. So we have the Super Toe Launcher Rotary Cannon Death one, which would be pretty awesome. I can't wait to see how this looks. Oh, that is awesome! So we've seen this before then. Not the uh, on the Bradley, but we saw this kind of armor on one of the Allied Strikers from the Vega mission. I'm pretty sure I saw it right at the start of the game there. Now, uh, I'm a bit concerned because we have some supplies, right? There's no shop here. Is there a shop here? I hope that's the case, because if it's not, we're kind of stuck here. <laughs> Where do we go now? We can go back there for one day, and we can retrade at th that location, or we can just go straight on and get to Oklahoma. I guess we should probably have a quick look at this place, just in case. I mean, it says opportunities. Maybe there's going to be like a ton of this stuff lying around we can pick up. Now, of course, without a shop, I can't really do much in terms of trading, because uh, we kind of have a lot of stuff right now. <laughs> Which means we need to get more supplies to get all the way to Oklahoma. But we're tr I'm sure we'll figure it out. Now, before we go any further, though, I will quickly just press this button. Oh, I can't do it. I'm going to reinforce who I can, because these guys actually take supplies. Well, so the guys inside them, but I mean, this would just make sure... We save a tiny little bit of supplies. It's not going to save anyone's lives, but it maybe just might make a difference in the long run. You never know. So I did take quite a few hostile shots to my ally squads at the end of last episode. There was, let's just say, <laughs> there was an ambush. And I was not prepared for it. It was horrifying. So with that out the way, we now have no goodwill, no manpower reserves, <laughs> and hardly any... Oh, anything hell else. Yeah. Hey, Is guys. That G -Force? Oh, yeah, you man. Have yourself a badass rep. You're with the movement? We sent here when we heard what happened. Got here just in time to hear about you taking care of those marauders. Our mission was to try and secure the local warehouses. The marauders didn't just loot them? Didn't have enough time before you defeated them. Now we can give these supplies back to the survivors here. They're going to rebuild the town. No, they've decided to move to Vega. The leader there is a good man. His town's going to be the only safe settlement in this area now. If you want, we're happy to trade with you, and oh. I think they've got people with military skills who want to join up with you. Please. How many supplies can I buy? Oh. Only a day's worth. How are we going to get over there? <laughs> oh, there's another one. The game realizes that it probably needs to give me more supplies to get out of here. So thank you, developers, for allowing me to get to this mission <laughs> without certain doom. So we could, in theory, go back this way. I don't think with supplies it's going to work out, so we're going to presume that we're not going to get many, and we're going to just go for this location this way. So he has given us a few supplies. We're going to probably need to make some cuts though, because at this point we've got 117,000 supply use a day. That is stupidly high. <laughs> I How have I even managed this? So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do what I normally do. We're going to go through, we're going to prune some units away. We're going to peel back the cost of living crisis so that our units can move forward a little bit further. I, how much are these costs and supplies? 10,000? 
10,000 for one of these tanks. That's, that, that's incre- that's crazy. And it, and it gets killed by an RPG? 5,000. That is, that's crazy. These cost a lot of money. If I compare it to a Big Bob, where's Big Bob? Where, where is Big Bob? There he is. You're telling me a Sherman is the same as Big Bob. I refuse to believe that that is actually the case. <laughs> there is some shenanigans going on here. I, I just, I refuse to believe. I'm sorry. I, I can't agree with that sentiment. Anyway, guys, let me give, give me some time. I've got to press some buttons, do some things, sell some troops. I also made a mistake throughout this entire series. Uh, I just saw it in a comment, so thank you for whoever that was. I didn't realize Humvees actually can drag around trailers. I never thought about checking, which means we can probably get rid of a lot of our technicals and just have Humvees do it instead. Though, didn't Humvees die? One, two... I think I actually lost some Humvees last episode anyway, so... But it does mean we can actually save ourselves on at least two vehicles, so we're a little bit cheaper. So what I'll probably do, I'll probably have the Humvees carry around instead the platforms with turrets on it, just so they can do some combat there. Though, of course, we are still lacking an additional one, but it's okay. Anyway, guys, let me get started. This might take me a little bit of time, so I'm going in for the long haul. I have finished at least my initial thing. I have actually double-checked, by the way. I couldn't go to the integrated camp to sell the Sherman. Apparently, there's a mission you can go and sell it to them, but I think I missed it. I had to go to Vega at the start, uh, Taos at the start of the game. But I didn't know that. I'm not super 2020 vision hindsight man, so <laughs> it is what it is. I have changed a lot of things. We're down a lot. And that is by selling a ton of things. Now, I am a bit over what it recommended by around £10,000. But that's because I decided to keep one of these tanks. Who, for some reason, cost £10,000. <laughs> I don't know why they're so expensive. But, of course, keeping this many units, that means there has been sacrifices, unfortunately. I mostly got rid of vehicles, of course, because the infantry didn't really change much. Oh, I say that, though. We did get ourselves some new infantry squads. So, these are pretty good welcoming. Because it's been a long, long time before we actually had some real infantry joining us is we've just been having these guys for most of the game <laughs> anyway so i have left a lot of units in reserve technician wise as well as inventory mostly because i deleted a ton of vehicles so i've switched out a lot of the platform guys to be carried by the humvees so we still have the five platforms however the change here is that i've actually click on that game so out of try after trying both these guys in combat i really do feel the light plasma cannon is okay but i would rather have a auto cannon <laughs> uh the other pumvees are equipped with random things i did make sure to actually have at least one close combat or anti-infantry one just to help us out for a pinch apart from that though i also sold a ton of different trailers i got i kept the supply one who's currently being moved around i think by the supply truck oh there he is no he's carrying around a heavy platform because this guy costs £2,000, and a combined force of a truck and a supply trader is also £2,000. So I, I was debating getting rid of this as well, but I decided to keep it. Basically meaning that we have double the supply when it comes to ammo. But I've sold the fuel tanker. I don't think I've ever used a full tanker in the entire game. Uh, maybe it's a mistake, I don't know. But for now, I feel like it was probably just a waste of money. So I've got I've gotten rid of that for now. I've also sold off two out of the three heavy platforms I picked up. And now, we got this guy, who already came with some armor. So I'm gonna upgrade him, he's already got it. And I've given him the heavy plasma cannon, which I'm pretty certain, I'm not really sure if I'm wrong here. Isn't this just this? They look different, don't they? Interesting. Regardless though, now we have a very heavy platform which can hopefully kill its enemies using this thing there was actually a i think i did actually make a bit of a blunder actually there was a better version of armor i didn't realize it was better because originally i had one with uh dozer still and cage armor which is actually a higher tier <laughs> me not knowing that i got rid of that one instead of this one but it's okay we still have ourselves a heavy cannon which can hopefully kill some enemies here apart from that everything's pretty much the same i did sell a few more vehicles i got rid of a cartel tank they have limited use i think i also got rid of the new APC I picked up. Regardless though, no matter what happens now, we do have enough supplies to go all the way to Oklahoma. I will stop by the space first, just to double check. I also went back here in a test save, just to see if anything weird happened. Nothing happened at all. There was no point going back that way. So, let's get going, shall we?
This is where all my supply. No, my supply. You stopping or just passing through? If you're here to talk to the commander, he ain't here. Went to join the fighting in the northwest. If you're T Force, then our orders are to give you access to any supplies you need. Thanks. Yeah, that's us. We'll rest up a short while, then we'll be on our way. Fair enough. When that guy said that, I thought he meant he was going to give me supplies. That, that wasn't the case. To actually fully restock my army, I need a lot of supplies, by the way. We could potentially try this. Because I have got a lot. I mean, let me just spend like a few thousand here. We still can't do it. <laughs> Damn it. I just want the ability. I feel like. Okay, I'll keep 5,000 in reserve, right? Four days supply. Or three days supply, should I say. I think this is going to work. Oh my god. I can go into a battle with supplies. Has this ever happened to me before? Not not since like the first episode, I don't think. This is amazing. Like look this this guy has smokes. I, I I've never even seen so much ammo in my life. But <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> we're gonna go we're, we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep going. Perfect. Two days supply, let's go to Oklahoma. Here it is. Oklahoma. You okay, Mason? Been here before. Never thought I'd be back one day. Hear how quiet it is? I thought we'd be able to hear the battle from here. We gotta be careful. Me grinder ain't a place you wanna go into blind. We'll divide the main force and... What's the matter? You don't like that idea? Maybe there's just nobody left alive in there and that's why it's so quiet. Maybe coming here was just a bad idea. I know this place's reputation. I know you've been here before. But we're going back in to find our people. We'll divide our forces and head in via two different routes. Yes, sir. Why? <laughs> I, don't, I don't agree. <laughs> Let's split our forces so they can kill us individually. Unless we already knew that there was enemies at risk, uh, allies at risk, and that where they are, I, I don't see the point personally. But then again, I'm just a random guy that plays video games for a living, so. I'm not actually any kind of trained tactical mastermind or anything. I barely even know how to memorize my own phone number. So we are picking right away, apparently. If I have a choice, I'm clearly going to go for this guy. So we have the armor transport. We can bring in something else as well. So I need to be careful now because all my light vehicles have an adjoining trailer. So if I bring in one, I actually bring in two and then I have no slots left. So instead, we're going to go for condo, javelin man. The javelin man. Have I? Wait a second. I feel like there's a mistake I've made somewhere. Oh, there is a mistake I've made somewhere. Wait a second. Loads of my troops are driving Vic. Guys, technical break. I need to fix all this. Oh, God, this guy. Oh, what have I done? Everyone's in the right. Oh, I can fix this. I can fix this. Okay, I think that's sorted out. So now we can see our actual <laughs> allies with javelins, not the guy without the ability to do much. So we get Widow One to join us. So we've got Widow One, Chimbo, Kondo. We're bringing Battle One. And finally, we're bringing. Ooh, you. These guys. Swan One will join us. Now these guys have better access to. Oh, these guys can join us. This is actually unfortunate because this means that they dropped their gun at some point and I didn't pick it back up again. Or maybe I couldn't. I don't know. I did try and go through that entire map and pick everything up I saw. So I must have either missed it or they lost it ages ago. But everybody, apart from that, we're going to go in. But people keep saying, uh, why do you not put your troops inside vehicles? There's a reason for this. It's because I think over half the matches I've done in this game, you spawn in in combat. So I feel like if there's a chance that happens, if I get shot immediately and it blows up the striker, everyone inside will die. So I, w I like to be on the floor. And also the game is quite quick anyway. I can just walk around. It's not a big deal most of the time. Confirm. Forward teams reach the center. Have them recon the area in preparation for the arrival of our main force. Still no contact with our people evac from Haven? Picking up radio signals, but it's all encrypted. And we don't have the latest founders encryption keys. Okay. So we'll have to search for them in the city. Oklahoma City. Oklahoma. <laughs> Hear that? Someone's got a firefight going. We should go see what's happening. Ready for launch. <gasps> oh my god. 
So this is why they're trying to kill it, right? This place actually makes Terminators. Is that what's happening here? That is scary. So apparently the enemy is under, or my allies under attack just here. Oh, seven out of, I guess they're in that building. <laughs> uh, let's move people forward a little bit, shall we? Can we get into like all of these buildings? Ooh. Doggos. Okay, doggo dead. Interesting. Okay, everyone move up. We probably want to have... Let's think about this for a second. Is this a strong building? Are they both strong? Get into this building here. It should be able to cover, like, most of the area. We'll move up this striker a little bit. There are enemies coming in, though, so we've got to be a bit careful here. Oh, you killed a guy with a rocket launcher. Well, that was lucky. So we're trying to have, like, a strong point here, and we kind of, like, arc around it, if we can. There's also allies under attack over there, so you probably need help in a second. So does every homoglo squad have like a rocket launcher and stuff? Is that how that works? Right, clear. Where's our people? What's happening? Oh! I guess I get back up. Now, I can call in one combat vehicle, so we should probably bring in the Super Bradley. I will also bring in an additional striker. Armor transport wise, we haven't really got any other options to be honest. I mean, we can bring a truck in technically, but we can't bring in the trailer with it, I'm pretty certain. So that's a no go. However, I can now bring in my Pagan 1, which actually comes with a artillery piece. <laughs> double artillery, double the fun. Those guys can come in. I'm also going to bring in an array of infantry, I think. So what we can, what can we do here? Oh, what about the tank? These are classes. Okay, never mind. Let's think about this for a second. There's probably going to be a lot of long-range battles in buildings. So I think we want to probably have a mix between, like, heavy support and long-range support for the infantry. So it's going to be a big infantry core cool battle, I think. So we'll bring in an additional ATGM squad. We will bring in Commander Shepard himself, as well as a Gatling Gunner. Probably an additional sniper. Not, they haven't got, unfortunately, laser sniper rifles. I should have switched them around a little bit when I was between missions, but oh well. We will also bring in the Compass 1 squad, as well as Harry 1 for more infantry cover. So that should be okay for now. Sorted. Now, let's see. So we've got loads of allies showing up, which is good to see. I presume... Interesting. So we already know that the factory is here, right? Are we going to have a situation where they continually just flood in and attack from different directions? So this is probably going to be a good place to try and either mine or guard against in the future. Perhaps we have like some squads here, javelins, face down, they can shoot them as they come through the gates. We'll have to see. Everybody, I, I, I had a phone call. I left to do it, came back, carried on playing for like 20 minutes. And then I realized it wasn't recording. <laughs> I pulled off some madness in that time. I was so excited that I recorded what happened. And then it turns out it never existed. It's fine. We can just do it again. I'm sure it would go exactly the same way as last time. Uh, now, <laughs> let's get everyone moving around a little bit, shall we? We're about to get attacked by, like, the entire army of mankind. So we've got to try and get everyone around. Or well, I say mankind, machine kind. You need to retreat, my friend. Get away. Get away. Move up. Aim at that sniper coming in. Okay, so we need to hurry up with this dude, by the way. So this guy's under attack in the building. I think they can actually die, so we want to make sure we save that guy as soon as possible. We run around the striker on the back and we shoot in the ass. We get the javelin and sniper team into these fellas. And the other two need to move up and try and get into this building for general support. As for the front bit... What? Oh, it's got like a smoke screen. That's pretty cool. Good, good, good. Okay, we've got to be careful now. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, we can kill these two enemies. Move forward directly to start shooting them in the face. Where's my other striker squeak team? Striker, go down this little gap and attack this way. So as long as they haven't got RPGs, it should be fine. That was the main problem we had at before you guys pull back so there's a lot of enemies coming in this way i feel like the bradley probably won't be able to tank that much direct fire but we'll have to see the javelin squad's actually out in the open right now so i feel like we can maybe use them to no they're gonna have smoke aren't they there's no point block the toe move forward gatling gun them 
You get into that building. Move up, move up. Oh, that was great. That didn't happen last time, but that was better than what I was going to do originally. <laughs> I'll take it. Now, this is the bit I remember. I Luckily, last time I had a condo in the skyscraper and you just sniped him moments before he appeared. Now, this time, they're not probably going to be so lucky. So, I'm going to get you two to reverse. Where's the other striker at? Has he not come around yet? Oh, he's still over here. He's miles away. Okay, so we're going to move. So, he's coming around this way this time. Last time, he came around the other way and we shot him from the skyscraper. In that case, then, I'm going to reverse you all the way back here, if you can, while shooting those dogs. Reverse, reverse. If you get into those buildings, they're looking okay. There are enemies this way. We could probably just kill them with the Gatling, to be honest. We'll move forward a little bit. Dead, dead, dead. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh. Okay. Turn around. Toe launch that fella there. I'm glad I put this guy on retreat, because otherwise we'll have a bad time here. We could, in theory, as well try and shoot... Okay, it's happening this time. Condo, specifically aim at this man right here. You two, garrison this part of the building. Do you stay away from the windows at the front? Are they already there? No, I can't see them. They must be getting shot from somewhere, though. Okay, it's up to you, buddy. You have to land a shot here. No, they keep dodging it. Okay, that's, that's super annoying. That is super annoying. We probably need to use... Now it's changed target. We'll move up everyone else. You stop firing toes. There's no point. And move directly towards the sniper there. We don't really have any other options really for killing that guy. Oh, there's only one of them left. Oh no, we're going to lose this this time. Move up again. You have to... No, you've already, you're in trouble. You need to keep reversing at full speed. Condo. Like I said last time, shoot that guy. Gun damage, good, good. Move up, move up. Come on. Okay, Striker, you got the thing? One guy left alive. Save that man. Okay, pull back a little bit. Get behind the building there. You recover your HP. We need to move people up now. So you guys are just doing nothing. Can you guys move here? We're sending a second team of a Javelin and a Cypher into the second skyscraper. And, oh, we lost someone. Oh, that's so annoying. It must have been the um, RPG squad, but whatever, it's fine. And you guys get into the front building. Come around the back of the buildings. I think it's a bit safer. Cool. Well, that didn't go as well as last time. Uh, I didn't lose anybody last time, and there was no damage on my vehicles. It was absolutely flawless, so... Oh! Oh, this bit... Okay, I think... The Javelin's gonna fire? Perhaps. No, he's not in position. Okay, everyone pull back. We'll let the Javelin take care of this. Pull back faster. Faster, faster, faster. Move up. Oh, that's too late, isn't it? Uh, duck left. I'm doing this, so if it spins around to attack one of my allies, uh, strikers, it takes longer for it to move its turret around. Don't go any further. Stop what you're doing. Got a visual on hostiles. Okay, sink now. Come on the edge. Uh, you're safe. You you're not safe. You're not safe. Um, reverse. That's probably going to be able to hit. You need to go that way. Oh! Literally seconds before he shot at the guy, they got they got him. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. You trying to make a breakout through the wire headlines too? More like trying to break in. What outfit you guys with? The Rio Grande Haven garrison? Yeah. That's us. Just got here as part of the second wave of reinforcements. Wasn't easy either. I bet. Second wave, huh? Guess you must have been part of the new big push on Oklahoma that commands got planned. So what happened to our first wave force? That was our mission. To re-establish contact with them. 
Wireheads are jamming our comms. We got some transmitters in the city still operating, but that's it. Far as we can tell, your buddies are pinned down near the Wireheads base and under heavy pressure. So they're on the receiving end of the artillery fire we can hear? Damn. At least that means they're still alive and holding out. If you got a map, I'll show you the positions we think they're pinned down at. Think you can get to them? We'll certainly try. You coming with us? We're combat ineffective. Got too many wounded of our own. You make contact with our people north of here, get them to send a medivac chopper. You can take our Humvee mounted ATGM if you want. Sorry we can't be more help than that, brother. That other voice line that was going on before. This didn't happen last time. So I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> Did we accidentally activate something I haven't seen yet? I, I don't know what's going on at all there. Anyway, uh, so we have actually managed to successfully do some stuff here. I feel like what we should possibly do is going to be a bit weird. Get you guys out there. Then we'll move these guys specifically forward so they're facing this way. So that they actually cover the entrances. One of them's got an anti-tank. One of them's got an anti Inventory, so this could be a perfect location. Now, as we got to do this again, I'm going to quickly say what I said last time before I decide to check my recording. So we're pretty much where I was before, just that it didn't go as well as last time. But nothing can be said about that. It's fine. So there is now two objectives on this mission. Well, three technically. We can actually go this way, and we can see we get reinforcements if we clear the roads, bringing our units in one at a time. I presume, I haven't got this far ahead yet, that if we go, as we go along, we get more and more rows to get more and more reinforcements. Pretty much meaning that your main priority should be moving up towards the objective here. Now, this objective is to make contact with the Ranger Command, which I don't know what happens if we do it. But I notice that it is classed as a secondary objective, not a primary. So that could be something worth considering. Next up, we have the main objective, which is over here. Haven Squad Location. So we need to get over here to rescue the units under attack. And I presume we may even be able to find Major Stevens there. The guy that potentially may have escaped. Well, he has escaped Haven Base's destruction at the start of the game. Now, this is where I was saying how hard this is going to be. Because ideally I want to do both missions at the same time. I want to get reinforcements. I want a complete medivac option. And I want to just have like a defensive line across this part of the map. Why? Well, if you look at the map here. You'll see it's a giant railway line across the entire length of this map. Not so much here because it uh, kind of goes on the same plane, but across it is a bunch of connections. There is a lot of them. Most of them, I think, are pretty good locations. Like this one right here, we can cover with these two dudes. Simple. This one, we can cover with those guys. Simple. These two, though, are a bit more dubious. You do actually have a building here, but it's a bit... It's a bit iffy. <laughs> It's not exactly giving me a lot of confidence there. Of course, there is a big building here, but the problem with this, I was thinking, is that by the time they come in, they can already probably shoot through the actual gateway instead of being able to get shot directly as they come towards, like, walking down the road. I also presume this guy's a bit too far away for most allies, so they might have to use a vehicle defense here to ambush enemies as they come through. But anyway, so my idea at the start is going to be to move up this way mostly with my forces to create a perimeter and get to Haven Command. And the second one, I was going to send like a, maybe like a Bradley with some squads. And we're going to go down and try and stick to this bottom path. Now, there are two problems with this. One, well, I don't know how many enemies are going to be there. If they have artillery, we're dead. Because it said artillery earlier. And three, there's two problems with this. So if I stick to the right, we are actually kind of okay for the most part. We have a lot of cover. We have just big medium buildings that won't just collapse in a few shots. Though the problem is going to be, I would say, here... If they got like a dude here that can just shoot down, it's going to be very awkward getting across. I also don't know if I can actually get the vehicle this way as well. If you look, there's literally a damaged truck and a container. Can the vehicle pass here? Or do they have to go up left and go through this connection here? Which maybe, I don't know, maybe be mined or something. I don't actually know. I've not got this far. So, also further on, there is a gap between us and the actual objective, which is this bit here. So, there is a bit of a trench across open terrain to get to where you need to be. So I'm going to try and figure out to do how to do everything here. And hopefully we won't lose too many people. We'll have to see. <laughs> we do actually have now a mission to defend these guys as well. I say these guys, there's one of them. If you take away the two allies I put in there. So it should be interesting. Anyway, let's get moving, shall we? Want to get a squad of each here. 
We're sending... Actually, no, you guys can stay at the back end. You guys go there. You guys get to where the Bradley is and prepare to move further in. There is, of course, going to be, I presume, some kind of enemy guarding this road. Otherwise, it would have let me bring my reinforcements in. So, we'll keep an eye on that. We could probably have the Strikers push up as well to help us out. I'll probably put one here. And the other one can go ne near the Bradley. I'm going to leave them in kind of semi-cover in case something bad goes wrong. Because we don't want to have them just getting blown up by a rogue spider. That would be pretty bad. Now, I was thinking as well, we got this guy that can... This building here has actually got quite a good radius. If you think about it, they can shoot this way and this way right away. And it's probably a bit overkill having two separate squads do exactly the same thing. So I'm actually going to move these guys temporarily over this way a bit. And maybe we put them in this building here. Because I think sniper range would mean that they can probably hit this bit with the snipers. Actually, what is your sniper range, my friend? Condo... She might can't, like, transpond this over here. I mean, if I was to think about it, I feel like he would not be able to actually reach this part of the map with his attack range. But you never know. It might be okay. Anyway, let's bring people up a little bit. Hey, counter down. back up. Must be in range of a transmitter. The wireheads ain't jammed yet. Oh. I didn't realize I went down. <laughs> not gonna, I didn't realize that it was even a problem. Oh, okay. Enemy spotted. So, who are they reacting to? So cannon guy, they got a rocket launcher dude as well. Doesn't seem like they have that many dudes to see, actually. I say we push forward for now, the Bradley. And then we put it back when we kill, this, uh, kill the vehicle. And we have someone else come around and try and take out that guy. Hey. Balls, man! Got a lot of things to answer for, Church. For the mess you caused at Haven and then turning deserter. Hey, traitor. Remember me? Command knows all about how you helped those deserters in Vega and sabotaged our mission there. That's not all, Church. We also got a witness to the atrocities you committed after you turned deserter. Hey, soldier boy. Remember me? Bolsano. Surprise! Yeah. I never even talked to him. <laughs> I bet you never thought you'd see me again after what you did at Abiquiu, huh? Lucky I managed to get away from your massacre there and hook up with some good people called the Four Sons. Oh, the Marauders. Then we ran into you at uh, that uh, Vega place, huh? I survived your massacre there as well. And then I met up with these uh, Founder guys, huh? <laughs> they wanted to hear all about what you've been up to since you turned the Zarter. Saxon and now this piece of Marauder trash. Wow. We got a real asshole convention going on here. They're lying. None of this is true. I've heard enough, Church. Well, I did this up. men at deserters and outlaws and hereby sentenced to death. Come at me, then. All Founders units have orders to attack on site, and you're blocked from our comms network. We don't want you spreading more of your cowardly lies. Well, guess we ain't Founders anymore. <laughs> Just <we> leave. <laughs> Tell them to go to hell and go back to Albuquerque. Those are our people from Haven these fanatics are sending to their deaths. We can't leave them behind. So what's the plan? Clear our name by rescuing the other Haven survivors. Then deal with the Legion's strong point here. The Oklahoma meat grinder won't use up any more good lives. I hear that. With the wireheads blocking found a- Whoa, 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 whoa. That should be okay. We probably need to respond to that before we retreat. Do we have time? We haven't really got time. That guy's gonna come around the corner. You retreat a little bit this way. Then you shoot, giving yourself more time. We do have another friend coming around the corner here. What's your attack range? Not really enough. Okay, don't worry about that for now. You guys are getting inside that building. Uh, shame we didn't have the javelin here right away. We could have... Wait. Can you shoot that far away? Enemy location acquired. Well, in theory, you might be okay. You might be able to get the... Uh, I've got to take care of it. Comes in the city. There's probably a bunch of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who ain't got the order to shoot us on sight. We could use that. Enemy sighted. Oh, I forgot about that. You're saying no. we should deceive other founders' units? I'm saying... That if we're gonna knock out that wirehead base, then we maybe got enough strength already here to get it done. If 
they think was still part company. of the chain of command. That's really bad. Oh, AA. AA. Interesting. Man. Ready for enemy spotted. Prepared. Combat ready. Got company. New target sighted. Don't fire that. Got a piece of artillery fire. Oh no. They have artillery. That changes things quite a bit. Okay, so was it here? Or was it here? It's one of these two locations. They have artillery though, so that's gonna be a big game changer for us already. We need to move in quickly and uh, what we do, we'll quickly get you guys around the corner. Blo Is that a regular homunculi squad? Okay, instead... You keep retreating behind that building. We'll bring up the striker to attack here. You guys get into that building. We need to probably figure out if that's the last two units, we get the reinforcements. We have to hope that they bring it in with artillery. If they don't, we're going to have to try and push out this way and take them out. I think that's all two of them. And if you guys are not aware yet, plasma artillery lands a hit every like two or three seconds. They are continually firing, firing, firing. So <laughs> we want to be careful for that if we can. Gather, gather. Ooh, they... <sighs> Move up. We need to kill these last guys around the corner here. So, strong building, right? They shouldn't be in any danger. What was that? Spider. Long-range missile launcher. Anti-tank. This is a bit risky. This is pretty risky. Can you travel left there? You stay behind this building here. We need a javelin squad to come and help us out. So, you guys are moving towards us? I can't remember if I gave that order or not. If not, get into that building. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have a lot of trouble with that spider. It is going to cause us problems. I don't know if we want to try and pull back with the... Actually, keep this hatch. Let's realize. Detach. There you go. Fire range is actually available to hit that guy. Wait a second. Apparently there's another squad here. So there's a homunculi there. They must be part of the same squad. They're just really spread out. Finish him. Good. Good job. Okay, so this is all the problem with the spider over here. Uh, javelin guys are nowhere near available, and we probably shouldn't have anyone outside the buildings in this current situation. Get into that building instead. I feel like they might be able to land a hit from that far away. We can also try and use the tow launcher on this guy as well. So if I move him back around... How do I want to deal with this? It's too close, that's my problem. Let's just, uh, we'll move three units in a little bit, see if we can figure something out. Oh, dog's coming in. That should be okay. Dog's not that scary. Chassis damage. Not good. Looks like one of the convoys yes, that was trying to get to Brock. Victor. We shot up bad. Moving. One of those vehicles still looks usable though. Yes, oh no! Gun destroyed. Good stuff, good stuff. What are they talking about? <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about at all. You need to pull back though. Any unit that can be hit by artillery is going to probably immediately die. So we want to make sure guys that are not actively in combat are going to be behind one of these buildings. We still unfortunately do not have the ability to push up too far here with these enemies nearby. If we actually just make this guy go up a little bit, kill that dog, this might unlock this reinforcement point. I think then he has to pull back though.
Their team in position and ready to engage. The game's given me an artillery piece. Excellent. Okay, artillery. So we need to bring in... I've refilled everyone's ammo, by the way. So we have full shebang powers here. We're cool in... I think it's too risky to bring in a supply truck. If it dies, we're going to just lose it. We'll bring in... Ooh, Bob. We'll also bring in... Whoever's going to do this. Strike one. I can find strike one. <laughs> Don't mind me as I'm completely blind. It's totally under control. Strike one. Oh, there he is. I didn't spend ages looking for this truck or anything. It's completely under control. So bring in strike one, Big Bob's tank, combat vehicle. We can bring in an additional cartel tank. I don't know how useful these... Wait, what am I doing? This is wrong. There's a Bradley. <laughs> That's a way better choice. We're bringing a Bradley. Now, we have some additional choices here we can bring in. We do have light combat vehicles. I don't know if bringing in more of these light patterns would be good. Would be a good idea. We should probably bring in, though, the heavy turret and the factory one. It's up in a defense base somewhere. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, that's a shame. What is this clown as then? I don't know. Anyway, so we can't do that right now. Instead, we're bringing... Probably the static defense, like plasma cannon. We all, it's Bumblebee, so technical, free. Okay, we're bringing you in. We've got quite a few slots left. I say what we probably want to do is bring in another dual team. One sniper, one javelin. And also we're going to probably bring in some close range RPG squads. We've not actually used these guys in a while, to be fair. But, or, we can bring in these guys. They have the same kind of thing. They both have some kind of rocket launcher they can shoot guys in ambush down so that is probably a better idea you guys come with me and i think i'm happy cool get into bu buildings guys get into buildings everyone move out the way you go forward uh get behind the skyscraper there oh we're gonna lose some people tank move up quickly and artillery drop hide return fire i think it was here everyone else it's going to be a bit dodgy, isn't it? We'll uh, see what, what happens first. We're going to destroy it. Easier said than done. Oh, oh, it's an enemy. Okay, uh, Bob can kill, deal with that. Go, Bob! Kill them all! It ain't just a military base. Underneath, it's a whole damn factory making more wires. There's gates connected to the underground factory. Every time they open... Bob, be better, Bob! Can you two move up to that bigger building? It's probably more cover. This is not going to be like cover for anybody. I... At least this guy's okay. Now you're actually out of the way, you can probably just go down this way and go and join the fence on the other side of the map. I want to try to keep my squishy units out of the way of the battle completely, because a single shot will destroy a striker, or probably destroy a Bradley. Do you want to probably destroy everything apart from the actual tank, to be fair? Everything's at risk from instant death. More damn wireheads come rolling out. So we seize the gates and hit the underground factory. Kidding? You know how much nasty wire head shit's gonna be waiting for us down there? Then we blow up the gates and trap them all underground. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Oh. Oh, they're friend. They're facing the right way. It's fine. That'll work for a while. One kill. Then the factory wire heads will just build themselves some tunnel and stuff and dig new routes back to the surface. So I know, I know you're talking, Mason, but there's kind of a conflict going on right now. Don't blame me. They spawn my units in in a hostile zone, okay? What can I even do about that? So what I've done, I've moved everyone around so they're not like either in a building or they're near like some kind of defensive building. The only thing that isn't is this artillery. Everyone else should be behind some sort of cover at this point or in a building. Now, I feel like what we should probably try and do is maybe push up at this point to get to that secondary objective. It might unlock some reinforcements or something we can use. But it's going to be a bit of a trek. So what we'd probably do, I'll leave these units as they are. We actually have multiple squads of snipers and stuff preparing to attack. Actually, I'm not happy about this. Snipers reporting. This building, I think, suspects it's going to get someone killed. We're going to move them somewhere else. What we'll do, we'll move you guys here. Change of position. And we'll move you guys across to nowhere, because that was... <laughs> we won't do that. We'll move you into this building. There's also a hole in that one. We we'll move you into this building <laughs> over here. It would be fine. Ideally, this one would be a great one to pick as well because it goes so high. I wonder if we can just shoot over the bridge towards the artillery. 
Then what's the answer? How do we take out that Good factor? We are shooting that, right? I, th I think just going in is going to be a stupid idea. We need to at least have some kind of backup nearby. Maybe what we should be doing... Oh, it's too risky though, isn't it? Where's that Bradley at? No, 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 not that one. That's the one that's new. This Bradley. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Change of position. Load them in. We're going to get a little squad here with the tank, a Bradley, Sniper, and the other guy. And we're going to see if we can spot and kill that enemy. You right, two. Morning, you need reinforcements. We need to somehow get the inventory over to this location. But it's really risky. I can either just run them across until they meet up a little bit. Or we can... It's really the only place I'm happy leaving the build, uh, the vehicles is a place like this where there's actually cover. So really, the infantry just needs the building cop. They need to go from one building to another building and eventually get close to the objective. Okay. Rocket artillery team four requesting assistance from any nearby founder forces. Where's my Bradley? Bradley. Get in. Survivors hiding in basements of nearby buildings. It's just fine, so we've got a little bit of time before they attack us here. Ooh! That's dead. <gasps> okay, this was not safe then. I thought this would be okay with the build the firing arc. I was completely wrong. They can hit us there as well. That is not good to know. Oh wait, what's this? The ambush rocket crews are here. Get away from there. The further we are away from the enemy, the I presume the shot will arc more. I guess because this is closer, they can go directly up and directly down, where it's hard to do it if it's further away, because it has to hit the buildings in the way. So we should probably move Bob away and just stay the hell away from the area. This is going to be amazing cover. If we get the Javelin squad in there with a sniper, we can probably spot everything. Who died, by the way? I didn't think it was it was the gunner. I'm pretty sure it was the gunner's guy. I'll get the coordinates up on the tactical map. How's it looking over here? You guys inside? Perfect. Move up. Now, this, I'm going to do a lot of pausing on this one. I do apologize because I'm doing multiple things at the same time. We're going to try and move our units up a little bit. I will bring both of them over here. Ready to roll. And we're going to try and stick left, move up, and get to this control point here. Okay, everyone move away. Ready to roll. This is actually the wrong Bradley for this. We should not need a way around because this Bradley hasn't got anti tank. So, in theory, no one here has long range anti tank capabilities at all, which is uh, not good to know. Enemy spotted. Uh, revs. That's a bit of a problem. Okay, you stop. Turn around. You hide. The armor on this should save it. And also the power of the API should be okay. Oh, unless it's being... How's the artillery shooting everywhere at the same time? How's it doing this? Oh, no. Uh, Bob, can you pull back? That's it. You're going to die. You're going to die. You need to get back in the cover. There must be three or four separate artilleries in the same place. Because they, they, how are they doing this? I mean, honestly, they, they, there's no way one is doing this many shots. They must have three or four separate ones shooting continually here. Uh, you guys get into cover over there. It's only a wolf pack, so it's only really a danger to the inventory, so it should be okay for now. Snipers have got out. Snipe that guy if you can. Good stuff, get back inside the safety. And you guys duck underneath the bridge. Okay, this way we have... Oh, that's you. Okay, that's fine. Good, good. Okay, we want to probably move up a little bit. So this bit seems okay. It doesn't seem they've actually colonized this part of the map. They don't seem to be garrisoning the buildings. They just seem to be very mobile. So they just keep trying to skip forward here as we play the game. They're okay, they're okay. I'm not sure about this building because it's all got the hole in the roof. 
As long as no one's in this part of the base, I guess it's okay. Or I do, since we've got guys there anyway, I tell them to go the other side <laughs> and they can defend the flank. Okay, so we have an enemy over there, which is okay. We've got to try and get to this building. If we keep waiting, it might... Oh my god. Oh, that is amazing. We haven't got a crew for it though, have we? Have I got a... I do have... I have a lot of spare crews for tanks. In case this thing happens. The question is going to be, have I deployed any of them? No. <laughs> no, I have not. Okay, so what we're going to probably need to do then... Is we're going to be able to take with us the rocket artillery probably. But not the tank. We can bring in an engineering crew to grab it at some point. But... I don't know the next reinforcements are going to be. I have, I have no idea. Oh, there's also a supply truck as well. Uh oh. What's your range? Oh, you can, be, you can take that. Okay, guys, I've, I have a plan. I'm going to go and just run forward and tank the event and then run away. <laughs> oh my god! Get in the cover. You're, it's too get in the cover. Get in the cover. If you, you've not hit a single... I think he might have don't hit like them then. Back out from the rest of our people. We don't know if they even reached their mission. Legion's still jamming the comms. Go ahead and take the set. It's a spider. Oh, how are they so accurate? They're always hitting where my units are. It's crazy. Okay, just keep retreating. Keep retreating. Run the hell away. Just get all the way back over there. Link up with our missing people. They're going to come down here with all those... They've got loads... We've got to try and evacuate this part of the map. They're going to come down big time. Uh, guys, switch over to fighting from the north. Maybe get in there as well. You've got a team stranded in the city. They have wounded and need a medical evac. I don't care what you think about... This is so bad. There's so many of them. Just get a rescue chopper to these coordinates I'm sending you. You need to retreat, buddy. I notice. I notice. I sure hope so. What do you want, Saxon? Just Come on, mate. you got to land a shot sometime. Oh. Okay, this is ridiculous. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> look, it's, uh, what's happening here? Get out of there. We might need to pull back these tanks and stuff to help this better part of the battle because this is not good, looking good here. Uh, you guys need to pull... Why does it say danger? Leave, 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 leave. What's going on? I did, and surrender yourself to me. <gasps> Wait, what's happening? You'll be executed, but I promise you, man, you'll live. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. Long enough to be fed to the beat grinder. Like all the other poor bastards sent here. On my way. He forced the Bravo team. I give the command your coordinates. Say hello, fellas. Please hit that target. I beg of you. An immediate feedback for you. Moving tanks, Lieutenant. Got him in our sides. We're being attacked by humans while fighting robots. What is going on? You are still one of us. Why had artillery stopped? Must be oh, careful. Oh, thank God for that. Because it's been driving me up the wall. Something we should do now. Bounty hunters? What is are we in the Wild West? As if this shit wasn't hard enough already. We're evacuating these squads. We're getting the head out of here. Wait, did I lose an entire squad? No, they're still alive. I can't evacuate both of them, but we can try and at least pull back a little bit. But then there's enemies there now. Okay, you guys move up. So they, is this a continual spawn now? They're just going to keep popping in all the time? Damn it, they must have snipers. He wasn't even being shot at. They definitely got snipers. Yep, there he is. We can't see him, but he can see us. Run him over. <laughs> I've had enough of this. Run him over. Ah! This smoke is powerful. This smoke is definitely powerful. You guys need to pull back. Sir, yes, sir. Infantry reporting. There's Red a dude over there as well, man. Enemy fire. Not an NR Death. Why can't you hit anyone? What is happening? <laughs> What's going on? How are you this bad? 
There you go, he's dead, they're dead. We're fine. So now we've got to pull back completely then, because this part of the map's hostile. Ah, but they're evacuating. Oh, look how cool this is. It's nearly dead, though. Team 4, you reading us? This is Team 4. Copy, Team 4. Where are you? Got held up, but now coming in from the south. What? Hold on, Team 4. That area may not be clear of hostiles. Too late, sir. We're already here. Do I play this mission twice and come back and record it? Because it seems like this is hindsight the mission, everybody. <laughs> By the way, you know where you spawn it? There's enemies there now. Oh, you know where the allies come in? There's enemies there as well. <laughs> what? What do I do? It's fine. So this is a big... It's, we can, this is everyone, I think. So can I call in my units normally now? This is the last remaining reinforcement for this mission. The remaining units are not assigned to the combat group. Oh, God. Okay, um, everyone. So, drop some of those guys. We need this guy for sure. I think I'd rather bring in a militia squad to help to see what's going on. I mean, you probably need some RPGs as well. So drop. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. Confirm. Oh, gosh, it's going to be awful. Got trouble. Oh, no. We're going to lose a helicopter immediately, aren't we? Okay. We'll be your eyes in the sky. Maybe you can't be good. Maybe we just gotta move on and find an easier target. We're not giving up. What about Major Stevens? He might be in that base. Founders have thrown everything they could at that place, and they still ain't taking it. Maybe it can't be done. Maybe we just ain't got the strength to shut this place down. Wait. Maybe you're right. Wish I wasn't. But could be just, just the way it is here. No, what you just said. About shutting this place down. Huh? You're right. We don't have the strength to shut this place down. But Legion does. We're gonna get the Wireheads to shut down their own base? Yeah. Remember what Legion is. A distributed system spread out everywhere. Every small part of Legion is Legion. Okay. Keep talking. It's supposed to be its strength. But it's also a vulnerability. If you attack one small part of it, even just a single terminal, then you can infect the whole system. But the Wireheads ain't that dumb. Otherwise, we'd have cooked up some computer virus to take them down long ago. Anytime part of the system comes under attack, they just isolate it and shut it down. Hey, wait a minute. Now you see it. Oh. We convince Legion that the factory's been infected, and it'll shut the whole place down itself. To do that, though, we're gonna have to find a network connection point. Right. Then that's our new objective. Got trouble. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty smart. I like it, I like it. So we have our entire military here. Let me just see if we've already lost some units in the spawn, because it's not looking very good right now. Fire! Fire! Someone please fire. Someone please fire. Oh, this is such a hostile spawn. All the ammo's there. Oh. Alright. We're engineers reporting. Please. Oh, gun destroyed. We're okay. Now that we secured that we have our entire army, we've actually managed to not lose our base immediately on spawning in, and everyone needs to run away from this human attack formation. I think I'm going to end the video here. We're going to have to reorganize. I'm probably going to have to shift my entire military now over to this part of the map, I think. Just to get away from these all the spawn points. And also, I am playing this at, like, what, 11pm on a Saturday? And I'm spending, like, 8 hours hiking tomorrow. So, I haven't got any more time to do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, that's why this video is in today. I will, um, of course, we have a video for Monday, but I have to record it on the Monday when I come back, because I'm probably pretty knackered tomorrow. But on that note, I hope everyone has enjoyed this video. This mission is ridiculous. I feel like it's, um, it's a hindsight mission. This, I think this game would be very different if you come back and play it a second time, because you would not do what I've done in a lot of cases. Like, using my units here, nearly got my artillery killed. Last mission, I had my entire guys on the right-hand side, they spawned that giant attack force. Didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> it is, it, if you play again, you would know what's going to happen. You can just probably use your units to play around the map perfectly. But um, that's unfortunately not the situation right here. Because I haven't really got time to play every mission twice. Because that would be insane. But everybody, I hope that everyone has enjoyed. Nevertheless, as always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.